Hey, welcome to the Ben and Wally Show, episode number four. What's up, Ben? Hey, what's up? So last week I showed you a picture of me in a photoshopped horse shirt. Then I showed you the actual picture of me in the horse shirt. And that shirt photo reminded us of another classic photo of me when I was 13, 14 years old, I'm thinking. And let's go ahead and put that picture up on the screen now. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's, let's talk about this picture. First thing, this is a professional photo. This was intentionally done. I'm holding onto a steering wheel of a ship uh, that's well, what that is. I never knew what it was. Yes, I, yeah. And then, well, or, or a wagon wheel, but. I, I thought it was a wagon wheel. I'm not. So, okay, so. I was in there. That make more sense. <laughs> well, I don't even remember being there. But I'm holding on to a wagon wheel or a steering wheel. So while wearing rust-colored corduroy pants and a flannel shirt. Uh, and then to top it all off, I'm wearing these oversized aviator glasses. Yeah. But when I found this picture, it gave me this brilliant idea. And I wanted to get you to recreate this photo yeah. and then give it to mom for Christmas in side-by-side, eight-by-ten frames. I wish and, we had a reaction video. Oh, uh, and so you know what? I could have recorded that, and for some reason I didn't. I'm so bummed. You were 10 years old when I had this idea. You were a tough negotiator. You held <laughs> out for the price of 20 whole dollars. Definitely the, worth it. The best $20 investment of my life. Um, and I went, I bought you clothes from no, old Navy. I took your photo in the photo studio at my work. We photoshopped, photoshopped in the wheel. Here's the photo side by side of the two. It is, it is amazing. And we gave it to your mom. Mm -hmm. She opened it, screamed, then slammed, slammed it. it shut. Yes. But now we put it out for everyone to see each year at Christmas. And it's like a little family tradition. Yes. Um, but I was thinking, you know what, that we should be trying to find other old photos of me and then recreating them. So we're going to well, start I mean, the horse shirts up there. We could get me a horse shirt. <laughs> oh, that'd be amazing if we redid yes. you with and the horse cargo shirt. cargo pants. Oh, it'd be awesome. On top of that, if anyone who's watching this wants to submit their own horribly amazing father-son or mother-daughter photo uh, recreations, we would absolutely love to see them and uh, definitely feature them on a future uh, episode. So yes, I just wanted to go back and touch on that. And I also wanted to see people sort of let people see the uh, ultimate father-son photo that we have floating around our house. Yep. So what do you have for me? Last week we did 90s movies quotes mm -hmm. and you gave me, uh, in my opinion, some fairly hard ones. And so I'm going to return the favor this week and I'm going to have you look at pictures of different very popular rappers right now and see mm -hmm. if you can guess who they are. Okay. And so before we, uh, when I brought this up to you, you were kind of talking some smack, saying that you were going to do a lot better than I thought. Well, uh, I, I'm I said I would beat you, and all that means I had to get two right because you only got one. Yes. I think you have a chance of getting one, but you will not be getting two. Okay. Well, I do not we'll think see. you were that hip. I, I, you know, Even I'm going into this full of confidence. Book. Okay. So I think you have the pictures with you, right? Okay, sure. So we're going to put the first one up on the screen. This is the easy one. Yes, he is the most well-known out of the, uh, all these people, I would say. Then we are in trouble. Because oh, yes, I will tell you, his face looks vaguely familiar. Mm -hmm. um, With the nose piercing and all. Yeah. I, it, if I could read what was on his forehead, that might tell me who he is. Um, cool Modi. Who? Yeah, that's a rapper from the 80s. I just thought I'd okay. throw it out. I don't know. Okay. Who is it? Uh, it is Lil Uzi Vert. Okay. If that's the easiest one, I'm not going to get any of these. <laughs> okay. So, right. next so one? The next one. Yes. All right. So, next one up on the screen. He's also fairly well known. All or right. Very um, popular. I'm going to say Easy Money. I mean, the money part is kind of there, but cash something. I know his name Dollar is Ronnie side? Rich. Oh, okay. I don't know. Okay, the next one. Well, I like the Letterman jacket. Um, I don't it's know who little, that is. It's a little TJ. 
So all right, so now we're on one. to the 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 boot pack. What does that how do you say? How about how about and how about give me initials? Let me see if we can get some initials. Okay. Um L and M. It's it's little or lil something. Mm-hmm. M magic. No. It's a little mosey. Oh, well, I get mm, magic, mosey. <laughs> They're not close. Not really. All right. <laughs> another is there's there another one? Yes. All right. There's a couple more. Okay. This is well, he looks like he's pretty jacked. <sighs> so do you want some hints on this one? Sure. Okay. So his name is one word. But there's kind of like two words in it, and the first one starts with a D, and the second one starts with a B. Debonair. No, the baby. De ba oh, now see, I've heard of the baby. I don't yeah. know. Well, yes, I've heard of the baby, but I don't. The next one. A hint on this yeah. is that um, his name is five words. Uh, is one of the words off? No. Okay. I See, thought maybe. I don't know. When I was looking for all these pictures, a lot of people have like chains on that say their name on them. Yes. Yeah, so so I said to like find one that didn't say that. I'm not going to give it to you that easy. Okay. I, I don't have a clue. And I don't okay, so five. five. This guy's name is A Boogie with the hoodie. Well, he has a hoodie. Yes. Okay. So right. the next one. Well. He must be pretty big because he went to the BET Hip Hop Awards. Mm -hmm. um, Very well known. Is Zone in his name? No. Okay, give me uh, two initials. A L and a B. Little baby, I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is? What? Yes, it's little oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> I get one. Oh, it is amazing. <laughs> Pure I luck. thought I thought when the way I said it, I must have said something wrong because the reaction on your face is like, what? And then yes, look at this total was, confusion so, that you somehow just pulled a little baby I am out of nowhere. So hip. Oh, I'm the coolest. So hip. Okay. We, we're tied right now. Is there any more? Yes. Uh one last one. So this okay. is the, oh, this uh, is a tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I the only way for me to guess is if you give me initials. P and G. I'm assuming it's not point guard. And I'm going to say it's um, player something. I don't have a clue. Polo G. Oh, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've heard that, but. Okay. So do you feel better that you have now gotten me back for. Um... Yes, but I would also say that I personally think I may have won that, given that in uh, last time I was able to get Harrison Ford and Tom Cruise, you know, like two actors in the movie. So I think I get just a little bit more than you. So yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay, we'll we'll call it even though for now. All right, perfect. Sounds good to me. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, Ben. That was sort of fun. <laughs> fun um, for me. I'm still surprised you got a little baby somehow. But... Oh, it's amazing. I am like the hippest dude ever. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so we were going to do a couple of news stories that we both found were interesting. How about if you go first? So this is kind of related to the last one. as It also kind of has to do with the rapper. Um, mm -hmm. So in the state of Kentucky, the mayor was talking about um, delays on unemployment checks mm -hmm. because some people were uh, filing for unemployment under fake names. And the example he gave was Tupac Shakur. Right. Um, for those of you who somehow do not know, Tupac Shakur was uh, is considered one of the greatest rappers of all time, and he was killed. Uh, was he killed in the nineties? I think. Right. That sounds right. I, I yeah. I don't really know. What happened is that there is actually a man in Kentucky by the name of Tupac Malik Shakur, um, and he just goes by Malik. And <laughs> so this guy was actually trying to file for unemployment, but was rejected because they thought he was faking it. Or like right, yeah, so his name. name literally is Tupac Shakur. Tupac Shakur. And, um, yeah. the, and so, the, the the governor was up there trying to go, well, let me just tell you this crazy story. Yes. Yeah, and so then, you know, he had to and apologize then, to Tupac. Yes, yes. apologize yeah. to Tupac. Okay, yeah, I had read that, actually, so yes. I'm not as shocked, but I did <laughs> find that interesting. 
Um, so my story for you is, uh, it's a few weeks old. The headline um, for the story is slightly more surprising than the actual story, but the headline is, a zoo is struggling so much that it may have to feed some animals to other animals. <laughs> yes, and I, when I saw that, I was like, I'm clicking on this story. <laughs> the bears it's, will be fine. Yes, exactly. It's a zoo in Germany, and the quote was, if, and this, really, and this is really the worst, worst case of all, and this is like the zoo keeper saying, if I no longer have any money to buy feed, or if it should happen that my feed supplier is no longer able to supply is able to supply due to new restrictions, then I would slaughter animals to feed other animals. So the thing is that changed it because I was like, oh my gosh, he's just gonna take the, the lambs and throw them in the lions and go, run for your life, <laughs> is sort of what I was picturing. Um, but then they said, though it's unclear which animals would be slaughtered first, a polar, near, polar bear uh, named Vetus, which stands nearly 12 feet tall, would be the last animal to go. That's taller than the basketball hoop, what the heck? Yeah, that is giant. That is a big bear. But that, that headline caught my attention when I, when I saw that. All right, so on to the next one. I think this is uh, kind of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So last week when we were finishing up, I sort of made a mention where I was like, I should just do a segment on why I hate Apple. Um, I, okay, so in reality, and I here don't. here we are. I do, <laughs> yes, and here we are. We're going to have the discussion. I don't hate Apple. I'm just not a fan of how they've structured their business. I don't own an iPhone. And I you don't us do, actually. Right. And I don't think I ever will. But I'm not going to say never because, as John Mullaney so eloquently put it, uh, look, I don't know, never. 14 years ago, I smoked cocaine the night before my college graduation. Now I'm afraid to get a flu shot. People change. People change. Yes, that's such a great line. Uh, to then get the most out of those products, you essentially can only use the other Apple products, whether or not maybe you feel it's the best option. And so I've just preferred to pick what I feel like is the best solution for every situation. But then my attitude towards that is maybe sort of pick non-Apple products because of that. But this, my sort of frustration with them started when we first got Apple TV. So before it was that you were streaming that you can do now, we, you know, we had to have those boxes. Yeah. And it said, um, you need to sign into your iTunes account. And I'm like, what does my, what does iTunes have to do with this? I just want to watch this. And I was like, I don't have an iTunes account because I'm not on Apple products. I don't have an Apple computer, but basically it just, it forced me. It was like, you're going to need to create an iTunes account. So I didn't want to, but I begrudgingly did. Now, side note, Ben, do you know what message I get on my laptop more than any other message that pops up? Oh, it's time to update. Apple time to update your iTunes account. I'm like, I don't even use the iTunes account. Why are you telling me to update it? Doesn't your system recognize that the, the, the software has never been opened? Yeah, I get that pop up on my iPad a decent amount. The last straw or the thing that really sort of pushed me over the edge was when I was uploading the podcast. This, the video here is of course on YouTube, but then we have a, the audio only version that's, that's podcast. And we use a podca podcast aggregator. So it's the best, easiest way to get your podcast out there. Uh, we use a company called Buzzsprout. Each week I upload our podcast. Podca each week I upload our podcast. Podcast. podcast and uh, using an RSS feed, they update all the major sites. I was able to get us on almost every major podcast platform with two clicks of the mouth. With two mouse. clicks, <laughs> leave that in. You're leaving that in. <laughs> with two clicks of the mouse, uh, with exception to Apple. Each time I try to connect my RSS feed to Apple, I get this notice: Podcast Connect requires an iTunes Store account. Learn more about Podcast Connect requirements. So first, you have an iTunes Store account. First of all, I have an iTunes account. Second, it's giving me this message inside Podcast Connect that I logged into using my iTunes credentials. I about, I was like, okay, maybe I'm crazy. I took a screen grab, I sent it to Buzzsprout. This was their response. I'm sorry about this. Unfortunately, this is a known issue with Apple. We found that users hit the loop sometimes and sometimes don't. I would recommend that you continue to try to access the page. Eventually, you will get through. 
I know that's not an ideal solution, but the site is just very hit or miss. So we get on nine other podcast platforms, including Spotify, Google, Stitcher, Deezer, with two clicks of the mouse. Apple, eh, just keep trying. That's sort of my frustration with Apple. To me, that's indicative of how all their products work. This is just one frustrating step after another. So now, why, did I, you, why, why, why don't you have a, an iPhone anymore? Okay, so I had um, the iPhone 6 for a while, and I kind of wanted a new phone, and I wanted one with like a bigger screen. That's something that I wanted. Um, and if I wanted to get that on iPhone, I have to cough up like $1,000 for like the iPhone 10 or whatever. Mm -hmm. I did not want to do that. Uh, so what I end up getting is the uh, OnePlus 6T, which mm -hmm. has a really big screen. I think I got it for around like $470. Great deal. Love the phone. Um, my personal issues with Apple are kind of on like um, slightly on the tech side, but more on uh, the people who use Apple products. No. Oh. Because um, a lot of things with Apple, um, a lot of people don't. Uh, aren't super into like I'm fairly into like tech especially smartphones and kind of like what's coming out and like uh, the newest uh, phones and stuff like that mm -hmm. and so I know that you know, Apple uh, it's considered that Apple has always had like the best cameras and in certain cases that's true like they have the best uh, video uh, quality uh, no phone can really compete with them on that right now but they do not have the best cameras and there's like kind of a thing that Androids all have bad cameras. That's just mm -hmm. not the case anymore. It was for a while, but not anymore. But a lot of people who use iPhones kind of just hold on to like uh, a lot of those like uh, ideas. They kind of just haven't tried to expand their horizons anymore and think that anything that isn't an iPhone is automatically worse. That's not the case. Right. And also like Androids, uh, one thing that I really like about it is it's way more customizable. Like um, the Google Play Store, there's a lot more apps you can download. It's where you can get like different like skins for the uh, like the uh, software, so you can like get it to look different. You cannot do anything like that with an uh, Apple phone or with an iPhone. Right. So, um, I mean, I have an iPad. I'm recording on it right now, uh, just because I have to for school. And you know, the, there's no really other tablets other than the iPad. I think uh, Android has a couple, but they're mm -hmm. just not really as good. So they do have it in the iPad category, but with smartphones, personally, it's kind of just what works best for you. And a lot of people just don't see it that way. So, Yeah, no, I, I think that the iPad is a, an amazing device, and I'm not sure that there's one out there that really rivals that. But I do agree with you. I, you know, I have a Google Pixel, and I've had nothing, well... I've really enjoyed it. I've had some issues with, with it. Where like three they, of them because they're giving, it they, This is my third uh, one, that, but they send it to me for free and just replace it. But you know, from a, a functionality standpoint and all that, I don't feel like I'm missing out at all. Okay, so that brings us to our final segment one of every night. One awkward question. One awkward oh. question, our favorite. Um, and as always, I will start. In week one, we had you change your name permanently. So we're done with that. This week, we're going to talk about nicknames. And okay. in college, it's very often and very common that your college buddies will give you a nickname. So in my fraternity, we had Worm, Q-Dog, Stinky, The Bod, Bung, <laughs> just, just a million names, right? They just go on and on. However, I'm going to give you the chance to pick your college nickname up front. So you have two options, okay. Bedwetter or Little Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I'm going to go with Lil Smokey. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, good. Yes. All right. Good. Okay. And the reason I'm going with Lil Smokey is because yeah. it kind of takes you a second to realize what that is, maybe. Yes. Okay. Bedwetter, if everybody <laughs> can understand what bedwetter is. So yeah, bedwetter, it's kind of just blatantly obvious. It's a little smoky. There could be different uh, uh, potential variations of it, I guess. Yeah, maybe as a kid, you just Both love little smokies. Okay, so, right. yeah, you know, neither are great options. <laughs> but listen, your college nickname generally isn't a great option. Yeah, so with my question, there's a, a little bit of a story that you, I'll let you explain that okay. you will understand. If you had the option in, to go back and choose your, yeah, mine, mine's kind of name related too. If you had the mm -hmm. option to go back 
and choose your name. Like this is what everybody would call you. Would mm-hmm. you stay with Wallace or would you go with Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so great. That is a great story. Okay, so let me tell the, that, that story. Mm-hmm. All right, so my name is Wallace. Most people call me Wally. When you're growing up, when I did, there was a TV show called Leave it to Beaver. There was a guy named Wally and this little brother Beaver would be like, gee, Wally. And so like when I was growing up, that's how kids would just make fun of me and just say that. So was it my favorite name? When we moved into this house, I met one of our neighbors. He was talking to me and I introduced myself and said, hey, I'm Wally. And so whatever. And we have a conversation and he's like getting ready to leave. And he goes, um, hey, it was good to meet you. And your name was, and I could see his head spinning. What is a horrible name? Like, what would be a name no one would want? He's like, Ralph? <laughs> and I go, yeah, sure, it's Ralph. <laughs> but uh, so would I rather have uh, Wallace, a.k.a. Wally or Ralph? No, I'm sticking with Wallace or Wally. I'm, I'm not doing okay. Ralph. No offense to any Ralphs out there, but look, I'm used to this one and I don't want to start down another path um, with a name that maybe people around me don't love. Yes, and then there's also you using the name Matt a decent amount. And there's a story behind that. But... Yeah, no, so I, oh, so there's a great story. So I also, when I call in for reservations or carry out or whatever, um, I use the name Matt. Anywhere I am, Matt. And that came from, we were talking to a family at church and mom introduced me and the lady walked away and was like, okay, nice to meet you, Matt. And I was like, Hmm, I don't know. I don't want to say anything. And then every week we would see her and she would just call me Matt and we just let it go too long. I mean, it was like six months of her calling me Matt and we're eventually like, we have to tell her that's not my name. And then when you tell them, you're like, his, his name isn't Matt. Oh, it's not? It's like, what is it? Wally. And they're like, Wally? Like, how did I get Matt out of that? And I was like, ah, you know, I like Matt. So, and no one, when you call in for reservations, if you say Wally, they're like, what? Wally. What? Wally. Uh, Oh, Wally. If you say Matt, they're like, okay, see you in a bit, Matt. That's it. So it's super simple. And so I have a story kind of related to that. A while ago, uh, when you uh, had me go inside to pick up some Chipotle, uh, I didn't know who ordered it or under what name. Mm-hmm. So they said, what's the name? And I said, it's either going to be Megan, Wally, or Matt. And they said, like, okay, <laughs> are you any of them? I said, I'm Ben. And it's like, what? <laughs> yes, don't worry about it. My family, we all, have, we just, everybody goes by different names. <laughs> yes. That is so funny. Yeah, so. All right. Yeah. I think that's well, it. I think that wraps it up for this show. As a reminder, you can listen to our show on many of the podcast networks out there, including Spotify, but Stitcher, not, Deezer, but not Apple because their system, you just have to keep trying. So uh, good job, Ben. Love you, bud. And I uh, hope that Thank we'll uh, see you guys next week. See you.